Hi guys, welcome back to Wizzy's Take. So, on my show, we're gonna be talking about fashion, fashion, fashion. All the latest trends, all the cool things that you wanna know about. If you're a fashionista and you're into this as much as I am, well, duh, that's why you're here. <laughs> so, let's get into it. We're about to watch a video. Um, this one that we're gonna review today, it's uh, just like a compilation of the top trends for fall and winter for uh, ready to go, uh, ready to wear women's wear. So let me get started. Already, let me see who's this. Already, I'm already liking what I'm seeing just from the little intro. But I love that about any kind of like trend fashion videos. Hmm. Dope. So, okay. So, right here, they're predicting that uh, for 2020, one of the trends that are going to be um, a thing for fall and winter is going to be latex. Now, if you've ever messed with latex, it's a funny, tricky thing. It's really like thin, lightweight, but it really clings to the skin. So, it takes a lot when you're sewing and when you're wearing this kind of stuff. You're going to have to treat this fabric with all types of extra care. Um, I'm not really into it that much because I don't want to do all that extra stuff uh, just to put something on. Because I think it's like powder and more stuff that you got. If you see what it looks like, you're going to be like, God damn. It looks like hella clingy and re really, <laughs> I mean, I don't know, yeast infection-y? I'm just saying, I don't know. It look, it's like so tight. But let's see. I mean, I like the color. I like that like brown chocolatey color, which is really cool. That blue is cool. Really stands out. Different, very different. I like that. So see, they're doing, they're using latex in all types of really clever ways that um, I like a lot. So here, they're doing it like with the pants. They're doing it in um, with the like tops and whole complete dresses out of latex. Very different, very edgy. Something I've never seen that before. I know people were dabbling with it before, but it was always those things that was like a thin line between S and M and regular clothes. <laughs> so I mean, it's cool that they're trying to make it a thing. All right, leather coats, another cute trend. All right, so. Now, these are regular, like, typical biker jackets that they have coming down these runways. So, these kind of leather coats that they have, they look like they're, like, the long line, the stream, not, I'm sorry, not streamline, the long line uh, cut jacket. So, it almost reminiscent to, like, a trench coat, but um, it's not a trench coat because it's leather. So, and it doesn't have that flap. Um, I think, you know, I got to look into that more to see the difference between a trench coat and a regular coat. If you know it, while you're subscribing to this... <laughs> Um, and you're sharing this, you can go ahead and comment down in the bottom and let me know the difference between a trench coat and a regular coat because I kind of don't know. <laughs> Is it the fabric? I'll look it up. That's homework for me and homework for you too. Let's see who gets it first. All right, let's see. Okay, so I like this. This is like a really hard militant look to the leather, which is really cool. That militant look is, you're gonna see that throughout trends for 2020, um, because th that is a thing. The That whole kind of like utilitarian look, but we'll get into that more. Let's see this. Louis Vuitton is doing some 80s stuff, huh? It was just a matter of time before the 80s came back. It's, it's fashion. It's all a big circle, people. It goes and it comes, it goes and it comes. When you're talking about trends. Not your personal thing. I definitely like this. This is, um, I like the print and probably that's it. Uh, <laughs> I don't like shit else about that. Okay, this is cool. Capes. Capes, capes, capes. I like capes. I actually made sure that when me and my uh, husband got married, which we've been married on going on a year now because we're the shit. Um, but, you know, 
I like capes. When we were doing uh, when we we're doing our wedding and we were sending ideas to the girls that were in our bridal party or bridal party, what brides, groom party, um, we put capes in there. And thank God that one of our good friends was able to get a cape and looked really cute in it. I love it. I love capes. It's like a jacket, but it doesn't have the sleeves. It's more like cutouts for the arm. It's really relaxed. It's really like so cool and modern and clean looking. It's a cool thing. I love capes. This one looks a little like a hunter. Hunterish. <laughs> Not into that. Okay, cutouts. Let me spend a little bit of time on this cutouts. For the winter, cutouts, I don't know, I don't like it. It's not a thing, um, it, that doesn't make sense to me. It's cold, winter time, <laughs> just about everywhere, or at least it's gonna get cold, and these are dresses and evening gowns to make matters worse, so mm, I don't really like it. I like two pieces, but cutouts, it's something cheap about it, and we are keep on going, I actually, spoiler alert, I've already seen this video, guys. So there's some stuff coming up that, okay, let me just push play because we're going to keep on talking about it, but it looks a fool. I'm not feeling this at all. This is cute, actually, um, to be cutouts. Uh, totally against what I, I mean, against what I was just saying, but um, this is a fool. This is a definite fool. This is a definite fool. This looks like a fucking nightgown or some shit. Dramatic sleeves, guys. I like this. So ladies, dramatic sleeves. It's a really good way to like umph up a pair of jeans, um, to pump up any kind of look. It'll give you this like edgy fashion forward. I like that. I like that dramatic sleeve does a really good thing. And Fendi, ooh yes, Fendi did it. And Max Mara, okay. Well Max Mara always is pushing the envelope and this is really cute. I like that too. And you got to keep in mind, guys, when you're watching like fashion shows, fashion shows on the runway, I know a lot of times people are like, oh my God, what the hell is that? Nobody's going to wear that kind of stuff. For one, somebody will, just to let you know. Somebody will spend that money, rent that garment, pay for that garment. Somebody going to buy that shit just because it was in like Fashion Week Paris or something. So somebody's going to wear it. Um, but besides that, a lot of this... Take it in as inspiration. If you're like looking to be a fashion designer or a stylist or just looking for ways to ump up your own, um, your closet or your wardrobe and make yourself look a little bit more like an edgy fashionista that you really are, um, take some of these things and pare it down. You don't have to wear it like, this is so dramatic and unusable. Her hands are completely covered. So like, it, this just doesn't make any much sense. But. I will tell you that if you can take down some of those tears in those sleeves, it would be a really nice garment. I think it would look really good. It's just uh, 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 the amount of, of work that you put into it and the amount of, um, you know I mean, styling to these kind of things. The, for these shows, it's a fashion show for a reason. It's a show. At some part of it, it needs to be entertaining. It has to get you out of your seat. It has to not get you out of your seat, but it has to kind of get you wanting to get out of your seat. Uh, you know, it, it, it's a reaction more so than just you looking fashionable and tasteful and cute. Because realistically, somebody walking down the street with this is, is a fool. Okay, let's keep going. But I like the dramatic sleeve. Okay, fringe. So fringe has been one of those things that are like in and out. It kind of comes and goes. Uh, you know, I think that they're finding a unique way to use it this go round. Although that looks like french fries. Um, it's not my thing, but I can see people that would be into it. That definitely looks like an octopus. Whatever the inspiration for that had to be an octopus. Ooh, velvet. I love velvet. Velvet. Okay, so velvet does for me what latex is supposed to do. So latex is supposed to have this like almost water-like feel to it, the way it looks. It has this like liquidy feel. But for me, it doesn't give you that. Um, it just gives me tight restraint <laughs> when I look at um, freaking latex. And I mean, I've seen people use latex in like big skirts, but either way, velvet gives me that liquidy feel. Velvet gives me that like flow, that luxe feel. So. Velvet, for me, yes, I like velvet. I think velvet should be a thing. I think it, it, it deserves another come around. Um, in the past years, I know velvet was a was a touch and go, um, but I like that it's popping out again. Um, 
It's a different fabrication and it looks really good, especially like on men for pants. Oh, velvet, like a freaking slack or, oh my God, it looks good. It looks really good. That's a way to show off on your dinner date night. All right, let's keep on going. But um, yeah, I like velvet, the earrings are full. Ooh, so Oscar de la Rente, I love this silhouette. Like, I know the silhouette's not a part of the trend, but God damn it, that's a nice silhouette. Okay, layers of leather. Okay, I'm not into it. <laughs> I am not into it. I'm just not feeling this. This is not the type of leather look that I would say uh, works, but um, I don't even, I can't even take these apart and make them work. It just does not look good to me. Uh, but I'm not a big fan of leather, uh, at least not this kind of leather, to tell you the truth. I know some people that can make leather work and can 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 really push this as far as uh, an edgy look, but not to me. Sherling, I like Sherling, and I like Sherling paired with the leather, better than just leather on top of leather. Um, it needs a break. But shirling is good. It's like a it's like a nice way to use faux fur. Oh, not faux fur. It's a nice way to give that fur like look. Um, most for the most part, shirling is like um, it's usually like cotton. It's usually reminiscent to like a teddy bear fabric. But um, it I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's really cool. I love it especially with like a denim. Oh, shirling and denim. It gives you like a almost like a sheepskin kind of look. It looks really good. So I'm I'm a fan of that. So I mean, guys, for this video for the most part. Uh, it's the top trends that was that was in the runway and I'm definitely a fan of what I was seeing here uh, Some of them it was a miss Some of them was a miss for me, but uh, for the most part I like what I saw like that Asuka de la Rente dress Oh, I like that working that they did with the boning exposed on the side. I know it wasn't part of the trend But uh, it's, it's just a really good look and it's something that Oscar de la Rente has done before of course, but it's just ugh, immaculate and if you can water that down and get it mass production kind of thing, oh my God, that works. That works, guys. So ladies, this video and these trends, take it all in. Make it yours. It's one of those things. You got to water those those um, high fashion things down and you can really make it like yours and just be inspired. You know, Keep it in mind when you're shopping and you're picking up things. It's good tips. So from this, what did we learn? Leather and leather. It's a good look for ladies. You can pull it off, um, at least for now. This is what the trend is saying. To me, no, I don't like it. <laughs> but I mean, if you wanna try it, go for it. It might look good. Um, one thing that I didn't see in here was denim. I'm really surprised because usually denim always makes a little bit of a peekaboo, but um, I guess it's not a thing this year. But who cares, everybody's gonna always wear jeans. It's one of those things you need to be in a trend for it to be a trend, uh, but hey, why not? So guys, let me know what else you want to see, what else kind of trends or other kind of videos you want to recommend for me to go over while you're subscribing. Again, comment, let me know, and we can do a little video about it and talk about it. And we'll see it on Trendmakers. See ya.